Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Haru, and in today's video, I am redrawing one of my old characters that I designed a while ago, in like last year, as you can see. She's actually inspired by another artist, Milky Way, who I'm a big fan of. So I'm starting off with a thumbnail, and that's her in the corner. And that is meant to be a horse in the background, and I'm running pew pew and uh, because she's getting shot out by a guy on a horse and she's running through a meadow. Now this is the actual sketch. I ended up like flipping it around so she's in the corner and that's because the reference picture of a girl running, because I have no idea how to draw a girl running, is her running in that direction. I, it's too much for my brain to have a reference picture and then flip it in my brain. So I'm just doing it like this. And I sped the sketching process up because, like, I think the sketch is really important because it's the foundation of the piece. So it's important, I think, for you guys to see it. And I like it when other artists show the sketching process because it's not easy. That's, like, always the hardest bit for me. So I just include that, but I sped it up because, you know. And I try to use some perspective techniques to make it more... Level, like having the horizon line and their heads are level with the horizon line. I don't know, I don't do that line and then like in line with it. Um, I don't really know how that works with Oslo. I'm back to you guys when I've started the painting. Oh, and this is me taking a photo of the picture and then like flipping it so then I can see any mistakes that I've made. Because I don't want to do that like when I finish a sketch and I have to erase it because that pisses me off so much. And now I'm finally going in with the watercolour. So you can now see, you have a better look of it, you can see her and there's a horse. He is holding a gun and you can see it, like the guy on the horse. But um... It's definitely not realistic. Like, the gun is huge if you put it to scale, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so let's talk about why she's running from through a meadow and why the guy's on a horse and he's got a gun. So in the two original pieces, I never really, I don't think I, I really thought of a background story, but she always looked concerned in both of the pictures. I was like, why does she look so concerned? And then I wanted to draw her in a meadow with flowers because in the second picture I did with her, she's got like little flowers around her. And I looked at references of like a girl in the meadow and they're all super boring. Like there was just girls taking Instagram pictures so they were posing and it wasn't very realistic. It's not really something I wanted to paint, I mean draw. And then I was like, maybe she's like running and having fun. So I looked at running pictures and I found one I really liked, but then I, I was like, oh my god, what is she's running through the pig field? With the actual painting. So I started going by doing each individual blade of grass. And then I looked at a reference painting of how someone draws a field and I realised that is wrong. And I always have to keep in mind that you just want to give the viewer of the pitch painting the idea that there's something going on but you kind of just want to get heaps of little details that form into one big blob but it still kind of makes it look like there's details if you know what I mean. 
Another thing I realized while I was painting her is so in the very first picture I did of her, she's got like blue toned skin, like the shadows are blue. And then because the sun is behind her, all her like all of we can see of her is in shadow, so I painted her blue. But then I looked at the second picture and I like so she still had blue shadows, but then I still gave her a normal skin colour. So it's kind of just a blue tone. So I'm kind of annoyed at that, but that's fine. I'm honestly not that happy with this piece, if I'm honest. Mainly because, one, I don't love the colours of the grass, and I don't love how she's not... She and the horse aren't popping from off the grass enough. They're not contrast, like she, she needed to be brighter or something. Um, and I also feel like it doesn't really look like she's running. In the original sketch I did, it looked good, but when I traced it onto watercolor paper, I kind of lost that movement. And I think I do that a lot. And I really just think I need to get a darker lead because I push really hard onto the paper and then that makes me get confused at once. So yeah, I definitely don't love this piece, especially I was also upset because the flowers are really, they're blended, like the flowers in her hair, you can't even tell there's flowers in her hair, they're just blended in with her hair because the orange was so dark. That was like had a bit of art block because I'm so burnt out and tired because the holidays and Christmas is coming. Um, so everyone's stressed and that's just what Christmas is but yeah but I don't hate this piece because I still posted it and I had to draw in her eyebrows because you could not see them I also later went in with coloured fine liners for her actual skin and then like I added some texture to the flowers in the field and in her hair with the coloured fine liner. And then I had to go back in over her arm because I realised as I was doing the fine liner that um, her forearm it was huge compared to like her upper arm so I try to fix that. Thank you. 
and that about sums it up so this is the piece i hope you like it i definitely don't love it i really hope you enjoy this video i post every sunday and i hope to see you again bye